Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you a new tool in Mesh Morpher which is called Lattice Deformer. To use it you have to open a morph target and then uh, go to the last item in the column, in the tool column and open it. Uh, well, from this point you can change several things that uh, impact how uh, the lattice grid is rendered and how it is right? So first of all you can change the color of control points to whatever you want. You can also change the edges uh, colors, right? So you can display however you want. You can also increase uh, the control uh, uh, point uh, sizes and uh, for the edge thickness as well, right? So this is uh, kind of useful, right? So uh, once uh, you, you want to get started with this, you can uh, go ahead and uh, select a point and uh, you can uh, double click it. So if you move a point, it will move whatever uh, associated vertex that uh, has, right? So this is how it works. Okay, uh, you can also use uh, the lattice uh, deformer for uh, sections only, right? So if you have only one eye that uh, you want to to uh, use lattice deformer on, you can select it and you can also change the resolution, the grid size for this, right? You can only have like three points or whatever number of points you need, right? So uh, this works the same, you modify it in the same way as uh, as you would uh, uh, if you, you didn't have any selection, right? You can also uh, do another thing if you have if you want to use invert uh, masking, you select something, but you want to affect only the unselected stuff, you can uh, enable invert mask here and click on regenerate. So now everything you move uh, won't uh, affect the selection, right? Because this is inverted. Uh, you only affect who, uh, what is not selected. Right, so uh, you can also uh, make sure you don't uh, recreate the grid. Uh, this is uh, disabled by default, by the way, but if you want to uh, disable or enable this, uh, when uh, it is enabled, when you make a new selection, the grid uh, gets regenerated. But uh, if uh, you don't want the grid to get regenerated, you can disable it like this, right? So this is it for this video guys. I hope you like this new tool in uh, Mesh Morpher. Uh, let me know uh, what you think about it. This is a new tool. This is beta. You can see it's uh, written here. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. See ya.